I mean like coming into school with a bottle that's dilute, a bottle of juice has been diluted with vodka type but not okay. Hi, my name is Cece, aka C the Unknown, and you're watching Channel C. That's right, I rebranded and I make fitness videos now. Nobody cared, but I'm saying it anyway. are often deceiving people look at me and they expect me to be fun happy go lucky and all and yeah it is because of my hair because blondes are always having fun you think that that's not true people literally come up to me in shops and ask me that question it angers me I remember the most ironic time that that happened was when I was going through like a really depressive period and I was asked that I was like I'm literally miserable with the but anyway that has nothing to do with this video I am rigid I am rigid I like things to be done a certain way and if somebody cannot do it that way I'll cry I'll, I'll cry I'll cry I can't I, I'm, shh. There's, there's nowhere to go I will actually cry or just insist on doing it my way even though if the way that I thought of was more difficult no, no, we're doing it that way because I've started it that way and that's how we're going to finish it. Guess my star sign. Anyway. <laughs> now, I was thinking about my old friendships. I don't know why. I remember the good things, but damn, I don't want to see those people again. The activities that other people wanted to do versus what I wanted to do changed. So, when we were like 17, I just wanted to bang Jim. I just wanted to be slim. That's all. To be slim, to be pretty, to bang gym, to make a little video here and there. That was it. Whereas I have friends who are more getting into things like smoking and drinking, of which I'm not saying that. I mean, I'm not saying, let me say this quietly. Let me say this one quietly. I mean, I do drink when I'm out, but like, I don't really go out like that. So like, yeah like like other activities i tried them once and decided you know what this is not for me it's making my lungs hurt rigid but not that rigid that is quite rigid but still you know i know what's for me and i know what isn't and back then i used to feel really bad about not doing these things like i was missing out and my friends were telling me that i was missing out and then i realized this is kind of about perspectives we're all different people right we are not our friends we are ourselves we look at it like oh everybody's doing this everybody's doing that but like that's not necessarily true people are doing what's best with it you think like you know how a lot of people look up to like athletes that you know became teenage sensations or you think they drank all the time yeah i'm, I'm not saying that oh nobody ever drank and that they were perfect little angels and that whatnot i'm saying when I'm saying there's a time and a place and that time and place is not very frequent when you have something that you want to achieve that this could obstruct and it doesn't have to be just things like drinking, smoking, etc. It can be other things like gaming, escapism where you just put your earphones in and imagine you're the main character. I... <coughs> yeah, I do that one. <laughs> So much to the point where like it's the same thing that's happening in real life but like for some reason I'm happy like I'll get some good news put earphones in and start dreaming at first like you're imagining your life with him meanwhile he's tried to call you like three times but you were too busy listening to music to <laughs> pick up like see all of these create problems it's okay to not like the things or to have different goals or to feel like even if you have the same goal as a friend that you would achieve it a different way like one friend may think that they need to post every single day on youtube or instagram someone may feel every week someone may feel every two weeks and all of these methods could be right it's like someone my height would say like they can't model because they're short and then i'm i'm out here like Baby, I'm five foot three and I'm in this hole. Sometimes we don't recognize that our friends that started drinking beer when they were younger are not actually okay. Like, not like the people that drank at every party they went to. I mean like coming into school with a 
bottle that's diluted, a bottle of juice has been diluted with vodka type but not okay. The friend that's always home alone was not okay. I was home alone a lot. I was not okay. The friend that always has a super unhealthy lunch, that, they're not okay. Yeah, the thing, things like that or like, it's not that their parents don't love them but they're maybe not able to like watch them as closely. And so it's only like in hindsight when you get older that you kind of realize that yo that person was not having as much fun as they made it seem yeah or things like always having attention from guys now like, oh i learned that one the hard way like <laughs> i mean i'd pick it i'd pick it over the ladder <laughs> but um see i grew up ugly so attention Yes, we feel like it means more than it does. It doesn't. Like, you feel like, oh, everybody wants to cuff me, everybody wants to date me, everybody wants to marry me. No, no, be. They want something. Oh, and it's uh, warm. That's all I'm gonna say. Yeah, we think that the experiences that somebody else is having is better than ours because it looks more fun. Or when you finally have those experiences, you're thinking, is that it? Is that it? Even though they made it look so fun and maybe it is fun to them because it's their life and it's what they've always wanted to do. Like, I don't know, constantly standing like this, posing and shooting may not seem fun for someone else, but for me, it's fun shouting into a camera where nobody else can hear you would probably not be fun for your super popular friend they think that things like talking to a camera are a bit like bro what i don't even know i made my point like about five minutes ago it is it is perfectly fine to not be it is perfectly fine to be square it's fine to not be like your friends it's fine to just be yourself you're not missing out on things you aren't especially not if you're spending your time on what you feel is wise whether that means spending your time on something wise could be finishing that netflix show that you stopped watching three weeks ago because i don't know you thought it was boring or your friend interrupted you in the first episode and so you never got into it yeah it could be something as simple as that or it could be finally finishing that like painting that you were supposed to do two months ago I don't paint but yeah I hope somebody sees this message and shares it with someone that needs to be okay with being themselves be sure to like comment subscribe um what's the other one? Oh yeah share share too